Sarah and I, we, we're actually in the lead car there and we, we take the times um, and record them there. One of our buckies is continually striking pole, so I decided to take out a, a few statistics to go and see exactly which buckies are pole prone. And the interesting fact about it is that we thought that 15 is, but 15 is an average of 11, 11 and a half um, pole hits or strikes in any one event. Some vehicles like number 14, for argument's sake, in a previous spirit, happened to be the slowest bucky. Not for reasons of the bucky itself over there, but um, the driver assigned to it there just happened to be by coincidence, and uh, we call it um, driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> it attracted the person who, or the contestant over there, who, did, who really drove badly. After every uh, group that comes in, we grade and then also pull two tires behind the tractor to get a nice smooth surface, give everybody the, the same equal opportunity to perform. This is where we feed all the hungry mouths, make some lovely dinners. Trust me, the food on the spirit is something else, especially the soups that they make in this kitchen. It is finger like lekker. Probably about 650 eggs a week, yeah, that was covered three groups. Each group of, of approximately uh, 40 people go through one lamb and about uh, 20 chickens, a sausage and some mince on top of that. Uh. Farney puts on a spectacular show. The strike rate over there of Farney's chips is absolutely fantastic. This year we have a drone above our heads taking some beautiful aerial shots. The uh, buckets are pretty fast but I have to admit the, the drone is keeping up very well. Taro versus drone. Three, two, one, go. Hand it off. Taro taking the lead in a takeoff as he's going down the main straight. Preparing for the first lifting to off the oval. The drone is catching up fast. Now the drone is going to get a tailwind from the eye. Let's see what's happened. As he's over shooting Taro coming down the main straight at the back. Taro still holding the lead there for a few, few seconds. As they're coming down the back straight, the drone now having a tailwind reaching speed up up to 110 kilometers, leaving Taro in the dust behind him. Coming into the left turn, oh no, the drone has overshot a little bit. Saul is coming back into the lead. Is he coming back on the left side of the picture? Yes, there he goes. Saul is heading over to third gear. Now going down the main straight for the info. The drone is catching up slowly. Oh, he's got the headwind. He's still my time. Saul goes over the finishing line. That is Saul versus drone. <laughs> <laughs>